Hello guys, how are you? <laughs> well, today it's a different video, a different day, a different way of doing stuff. Now, as you may understand, I try to make a new series showing all of you some workshops that were dedicated to work on Alfa Romeo or Italian brands in general. Well, that uh, did not come through, at least yet. Um, I did contact about 20 to 20, 25 workshops and none of them replied to me. How sad is that? So, my plan was, after doing the series or a bunch of videos of those series about the experts here in Portugal, my next series was to do the following. Every time I encounter a person that has one or more Alfa Romeos that is in real need for help, I mean, it does not have any means of work or repair or diagnose the problem of his car for several reasons. The reasons are uh, private, as you may understand, okay? My plan was to go to the, those places, go to the house, go to the workshop, whatever it may be, and go try to help the person to do the repair or the diagnosis or something else. To assist the person where the person is, whatever place it is in Portugal. Okay, that is very nice, very cool, but as you may understand, that, that takes me a lot of time, time that I don't have, time that I need to go to work, for example, and uh, of course, a lot of money. About, talking about money, this is not a paid service. Very well, okay, I'm not rich, I don't have money, I don't do this just because. I do this because I want to help the brand itself. The brand Alfa Romeo, I think it needs a little bit more recognition. And I think because sometimes people do not have the means to repair it, don't have the correct parts to repair it, that is the, the start of the problem of the Alfa Romeo sucks. So I want to intervene in this exact point, the point where sta things start to go south. Of course, people, uh, if they want to, they can not pay me, but do a contribution directly to my Patreon account or PayPal, but it is for the channel. It is not for me. This is not a business, okay? What I'm doing here, it's not a business. This is for helping Alfa Romeo and also, of course, to help my channel. The channel, not myself, okay? I can separate very well the, the account of the channel and my personal account. The car that, that we are about to see, it is an Alfa Romeo 147 the 16 valve multi-jet engine. It is a very beautiful car. I usually did work on that car when I was younger in the car too, because I did work at home for a few years and uh, I did work on that car. Very special, very beautiful car. A very dark in color 147 with a red interior. Mm, so nice. So the problem is the, always the same stuff. The clutch pedal is too hard and it squeaks. <laughs> I already did a video about that on my Alpha 156, as you can remember, exactly with the same symptom. But the 147, the, the parts are different, the bushings are a little, a little bit different. He really deserves this because, okay, reasons. Of course, in the future, uh, it will be really good to do this on all Europe. Uh, <laughs> I think that is dreaming too high, but it is a possibility on my channel to do some runs through Europe just for the channel, leaving off the channel, not happening yet, I think, and uh, help you guys, help to do the correct thing, the correct diagnosis, the correct approaches to do your repair. So let's check it out. Hello guys, how are you? <laughs> this is a very, very beautiful car, as you can see, dark in color, red interior. Very beautiful. He had some creaks and some noises that we fixed with that uh, cloth tape that I used on that video that I, I show you up here. So you can see here on the rear seats down there when people sat on it, it did the noise, not anymore. This uh, door over here, as we open the door, the light, the interior light, the dome light does not uh, turn on. 
normally the problem it is this uh, lock itself okay maybe not today more on the boot lid some water is accumulating inside of the boot, boot lid maybe on the second video we can approach that but on this case on this car today we are seeing here the problem with the clutch pedal normally the noise comes from the pedal in on this case yes it comes from the pedal too because we have a second noise on the clutch assembly itself on the clutch assembly we have a second noise i show you the noise in a minute And uh, this car already took the flywheel, the, the clutch assembly, the secondary and primary pumps and all in between. And still it is making the noise and the hardness on the pedal. So today we are trying to evaluate how can we um, take out some of the noise, take out some of the heaviness of the pedal and see if you can find the issue, the, the source of the problem for this uh, noise and heaviness of the pedal. Okay, so some of you may say that this will not solve the problem, and in fact, uh, it may not, okay? But I, I've seen some problems, at, uh, at least all of the cars that I've seen that have the heavier pedal feel. Every time I, that I do this purging or this draining, with a pressure system, this, the, the pedal feels immediately very, very light. Now, um, this may not solve the problem at all because the problem may not be on the, the circuit itself. But as you can understand, you have to do the maintenance whatsoever. So there, there is no harm to do this uh, purging or this draining of the oil. And more than that, every time that, that you do a purging with a pressure system, you are pushing not only oil, but also all of the debris that is on the, the primary and secondary pumps on the cylinders and also on the lines because as you can understand we have a lot of debris that uh, stays on the walls of the inside of the piping of the pumps through the years and this is a perfect way to take out to remove that gunk that is inside of the lines so this is very a, a very good way to see if indeed some at least some of the hardness of the pedal it is on the gunk inside of the system and also you always have to do this you always have to do the maintenance on your lines every 40,000 kilometers or two years so no harm no foul okay now i what i advise you to do is take your friend or yourself can do that um, go to your drive, driver's seat and push the clutch pedal a bunch of times to try to free some of the gunk that is inside of the system. If the system has a lot of dirt, a lot of debris inside, you may have to do this procedure a bunch of times until you see the oil that comes out of the perch coming out the same color basically as the color that it comes in. So that is the perfect uh, maintenance that you can do on the car. Um, not only do that, you can act actually see as you we do this, the softness of the pedal may become more more soft or less hard than it used to be. If it is exactly exactly the same, no harm because at least we do the maintenance as it should be. So push the the clutch pedal a bunch of times, and now we are we are going to open our purging over there. Okay, you can stop. By purging, I mean bleeding, okay? So as you can see, I can hear the interior of the, of the gearbox. I can hear the clutch assembly doing the noise. Normally the problem, it is on this axle over here. You have the bushing on the inside. And uh, normally it squeals. But what I'm hearing here, it is not a squeal. It's different. It's a, I think it's a pressure plate doing the noise. So my idea was to remove this part and lubricate it, but I can see that is not uh, not going to solve anything. So my prognosis is to remove the gearbox and see inside 
what you can we can do obviously not for this uh, episode but on the future we have to look at that so i'm sorry about my lack of light here i forgot some lights at home but essentially you have to take out this uh, clip over here with a one or two screwdrivers okay this is not very similar to the alpha 156 in this 147 i did disassemble a few but it was a long time ago so bear with my uh lack of uh remembering stuff so the clip is off so next you want to push on the shaft over there inwards to me to be able to take it out from the left side so next you want to take on this shaft over here try to push it out like this slowly easily beware of the wiring harness over there Beware of this uh, sensor switch. Already told you how to take it out and tune it on my other video. In the meantime, you want to take out this clip over here, in the in here, and on there, on top. On top, I know it, it is a bit, a little bit difficult, but essentially it's the same thing. You want to do this, okay, and push it out. So you have here now the pedal all the way free. Here are the tabs that you take, took out, they can stay in there, okay? Now continue to remove the shaft. Maybe like this. So here we have it, the shaft. Make sure it's uh, with no grooves, no nothing, all perfect, as is, this one. And uh, clean it very well, I can see the original pink uh, lubricant very nice very high quality indeed really very high quality very viscous very nice so when taking out the pedal make sure that is free from the cylinder and uh, make sure okay make sure here aha <laughs> already found the problem that's an easy fix okay but essentially make sure to bring all the components the spring assembly and uh, everything is uh, quite nice with this uh, assembly okay here we have it the clutch pedal all this assembled now you you want to see some things about the maintenance of this pedal namely here these bushings you already know that these bushings are prone to wear on, on, the, on the, the shaft over there and you have to replace these ones. These ones are not very very bad but if they do have this in stock we will replace them. Not right now because we have to send this uh, spring to be manufactured if they don't have this in stock or for sale at all. So you have the, those two uh, bushings over here, you have the spring that you have to see if it is good or not so replace your uh, bushings and down there you have this little cap this little bushing that works on top of the primary cylinder clutch right here so we, we will replace this one we have to lubricate it uh, with a, that special uh, plastic grease you have to lubricate everything with that special plastic grease even on here you can see the the pink very nice um, lubricant on here really very nice so the car will be able to be drivable between this uh, asking of parts manufacturing of the, the spring i know the pedal which will be a little bit more heavy because of the lack of the spring but uh, that not, does not matter right now it matters that we have to have all parts working together in harmony don't forget that if you have too much play on these bushings your pedal may be too much heavy for them because if you have to make a lot of force on the pedal you will have a lot of wear on the parts and if you do have a lot of wear on the, all these parts beware with your clutch assembly your pressure plate is especially must be very hard and uh, not very high quality like i told you on other videos so let's assemble all of this so the car is drivable with the shaft already in place you can see 
where it goes, okay, all the way. Now you can uh, put your pedal, make sure it goes to the, the ball over here. If it has the spring attached to it, you have to align the spring with the hole down there. I'm hoping you can see it. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, I will put an arrow. It goes all the way almost uh, by himself because it goes like a almost like a cone shape. So we have our pedal pushed down on this uh, shaft. Okay, now you have to make sure this tab goes behind this part. Okay, and the pedal goes straight like this all the way. Really nice. Now you can push on your shaft. Okay, push. It goes over there. Now your brake pedal. You can also do this on your brake pedal, the lubrica lubrication. But the shaft already goes with a lot of uh, lubricant, so now the shaft goes almost all the way. It will be a bit hard because, as you can imagine, you have the spring from the brake pedal and all the assembly has a lot of uh, force on it. But, as you can see, it's, it is almost all the way. If you want to, you can push it with something. Not happening. Push it. And now put your spring in place. It's not not, not easy, really not. But uh, you want to slide it first on this spot and now down. So you want to slide your spring to the on the shaft and it is secure. So guys, here we are. Uh, we are testing the car to see if everything is okay. The feeling of the clutch pedal, it's much better, much, much more linear. Uh, now, without the spring, obviously the, the pedal will be a little bit more stiff and the recovery of the pedal may be a little bit uh, deaf because sometimes the pedal go, stays a little bit, uh, not this one very much, but on, the, on some cars it may be a little bit off center of the brake pedal. The feel is it's better. Although I have the noise outside that I cannot hear it very well, but I can feel it on the pedal. It is so severe, this uh, squealing noise on the gearbox, on the clutch assembly, that it, it transmits itself through the fluid and in fact can vibrate the clutch pedal. So not very good, that part. We, we have everything super lubrified, so no problems whatsoever in there. So I know for sure, we know for sure at this moment that the problem is on the clutch assembly itself. Also we have a noise here, I don't know if you can hear it. Okay, a uh, squealing noise. Remember the video that I did about the upper control arms of the Alpha 156, 147, the Alpha GT. The problem is you don't need to replace them right away. You have to take them out see if it has any place on the, the bushings or on the, the wall joint and if you don't have any place you can take out, like I told you on the video take out the bushings, the upper bushings and lubricate them so they don't squeal anymore you have to do that from time to time about the car here, the car can be driven until we have the new spring uh, to put in place, to put the spring, just follow this video to do the disassembly and assembly again, it's quite easy to do. You don't need a lot of tools, you don't need a lot of expertise, you just need to follow these instructions and everything will be okay. You just have to use quality parts and quality materials. Guys, I really hope you like this video, I hope you can share with your friends and hit that like button. Also, on the description below, there is a lot of information that can be useful for you, including helps for the channel. You can choose to do a Patreon account uh, to do a month monthly support for this channel or just do a simple donation to my PayPal account. Or if you don't want to do any of that, I'm um, cool with that also, okay? i see you next time guys. Bye! Bye! <laughs>